Hi friends, uh, today we are going to learn about the trigonometric identities and uh, today is one of the very good day because we are going to learn very good identities, very good relationships, okay? So keep these all relationships in mind, it's really really important, okay? So let's first find out how this uh, trigonometric expressions or to, uh, this uh, identity came, okay? So let me first draw a right angle triangle, okay? Uh, suppose this is my right angle triangle, right? let me name this b a a b or c right suppose this angle is theta right and this is 90 degree okay uh, fine so uh, since this is the theta angle so the opposite of this angle will be always perpendicular and the side in which the angle is seated it means this side is always the base and always and always we know the longest part the largest part is the hypotenuse right so now uh, let's apply the Pythagoras theorem in this triangle okay according to the Pythagoras it is h square uh, means ever in any in a right angle triangle always the hypotenuse square is always equals to the sum of the perpendicular square and the base square right so let me write here h square here is ac square right and perpendicular square that is BC square uh, BC square right and here B square that is AB square okay now uh, let me divide this whole by uh, let me divide uh, I mean dividing by dividing by AC square AC square what do we get let's see AC square divided by AC square is equals to BC right so BC square upon AC square again AB square upon AC square I'm dividing both side by the AC square right so AC AC it's 1 and now it's 1 equals to BC it's square okay BC upon AC whole square and again AB upon AC whole square now see what is BC upon AC BC upon AC that is P upon H right or 1 equals to P upon H whole square is AB upon AC right see here AB upon AC that is B upon H square again B upon H square again right or uh, 1 we know that sine theta is always uh, means I mean the sine ratio is always perpendicular to the hypotenuse and ba uh, means cos is cos is always base to the hypotenuse right these are the two ratios so P upon H it means perpendicular to the hypotenuse is sine square theta and base to the hypotenuse now here in this triangle right is cos square theta right so this is the our relationship right if you do uh, this relationship further you can do like this means we get, we can do like this also uh, sine square theta plus cos square theta equals to 1 and from here only sine square theta is equals to 1 minus cos square theta and if you keep here cos square theta it will be 1 minus sine square theta so these are the really really important uh, uh, you can say expressions right or uh, sorry relationships these are very good identities trigonometric identities that you have to keep in your mind right sine square plus cos square theta equals to 1 and sine square theta equals to 1 minus cos square theta and cos square theta equals to 1 minus sine square theta this identity you know we use in maximum places now in further trigonometry as we will be learning we'll be using this all these all identities it's really important so keep these inserted in your mind properly anytime you should remember these all okay and in next video we'll be learning that 1 plus tan square equals to sec square theta this is our second uh, trigonometric identities okay so uh, watch in the next video okay thank you bye bye